Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another Facebook Live. My name is Rachel, and I am an environmental educator at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is a nonprofit organization and Sea Turtle Hospital here in South Padre Island, Texas. As usual, let me know where you're tuning in from. We always love to see where all our viewers are from. We're actually about to do a patient release. So we're about to release two of our patients back to the ocean. If you're unfamiliar with our organization, we are a sea turtle hospital. So what we do is we rescue, rehabilitate, and then release patients back to the ocean. That's our mission as a sea turtle hospital. So today, we're actually walking right now into the bay. I'll give you a view here. So we have uh, our staff members here ready to release these two patients. It's a very foggy and cloudy day here on our island. So we're walking into the bay because we are searching for the seagrass beds. If you're unfamiliar with our area, the Laguna Madre is our bayside. It's this great huge body of water that's very shallow, but also happens to have immense amounts of seagrass. And this is important because our juvenile Atlantic green sea turtles love seagrass. So we are quite literally walking out into the bay until we find those seagrass. They are Atlantic green sea turtles. So we are searching for the seagrass. You can actually see some of the algae here, but we like it to be a little bit deeper and a little more seagrass. Now, if you guys have any questions about our patients, our sea turtle hospital, I would love to answer them at this time. We started the video a little earlier this time as the releases are so quick that typically the videos are very, very short. But I wanted to walk out here with you all so you could join us virtually. So see, we have some of our staff members here and then our staff members back there. It's getting a little deeper now. Getting pretty close to the seagrass beds. The weather's actually lovely today. So although it's cloudy, the water is nice and warm and it'll be perfect for our patients. Now the two patients we are releasing today are Scampi and Dasher. Scampi is one of our cold stun turtles. Dasher was actually hooked. So this is Scampi here. And Scampi was a turtle that was not ready for release during our cold stun event, but now he is. And then we have Dasher over there. Dasher was hooked in Port Isabel and also had fibropapillomatosis, which is a disease that causes tumors to grow all over his body. And so we performed a surgery to remove those tumors. And now he's recovered from that surgery and he's ready to go back out into the wild. So whenever you guys are ready. So here goes Dasher. <laughs> there goes Dasher. Oh, there he is. You can see their little heads will pop up since sea turtles have lungs just like you and I do. They need a surface to breathe. And so what we'll typically look for is what we call a goodbye breath, which means that one of their little heads will pop up to take a breath. And that, we know, that way we know this, they'll safely make it out there. If you hear some splashing sounds, those are the mullet that we have in our bay. They like to surface. Oh, there he was over there. I know it might've been difficult to see we also want to make sure they're going the correct way because if they're swimming back towards us, that's the wrong way. <laughs> so we want to make sure they're going the right way. And then here goes Scampi. <laughs> I think Scampi's trying to figure out where he is. Of course, you can imagine just like coming into the hospital can be disorienting. Getting released back can be disorienting depending on the animal. Sometimes we have patients that will dive down and immediately start eating seagrass, which I find particularly cute. So here's Scampi just hanging out with us here. <laughs> but we'll always make sure that they're ready. And we'll actually swim out before we walk away. You'll see there's actually a lot of um, algae right here, which is cool. As far as plenty of seagrass. <laughs> there's a little Scampi. So Scampi and Dasher were both juvenile Atlantic green sea turtles. 
Atlantic greens are the species we primarily encounter here because of our bay. Our bay system is such a great place for them that we typically encounter that species in our hospital. There he goes in the distance. Oh, he just dove down. There he goes. Probably diving down to get some of that nice seagrass out there. Oh, there he goes. You guys might have seen his little head back there. We love sharing these releases with you all. This is of course my favorite part of our entire mission. Watching these animals get to fully recover and get to be released back to the ocean is the best feeling. So we really appreciate you, all of you guys tuning in today. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty foggy out here, but a nice day for a release. All right, well, thank you all so, so much for tuning in to this Facebook Live. I hope you enjoyed this release video. We'll keep doing these lives whenever we release patients. During the winter, we weren't able to release a ton of our patients because it was too cold. But today, finally, it's spring, it's warming up, and we are really happy to have you here today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.